I stenciled my hives because while I was looking for land in Maine, a whole bee yard had been stolen. And I got some volunteers and I stole them back. And when the time came to start a business, I decided it'd be a good idea to keep it simple. So I said, I'll call it Bert's Bees. What could be more simple? I lived in a town that had a uh, canal. And one day I'd drive through there after heavy rain. And uh, this fence post had a swarm of bees on it. Six months before, somebody had given me a beehive and all the tools that I needed to be a beekeeper. I mean, it wasn't as if I'd summoned these bees down or gone looking for them. You know, it was, it, 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 you know, it, it, it was, it was an act of God. I mean, it, it was it was a no-brainer, you know. Now I had a, I had a way of making some money. I had all the tools and the knowledge, the literature, the ability to do just as my guru had done: just reach into a hive of bees and take out the frame, barehanded, bareheaded, in a t-shirt and slacks. I realized that as long as I had one beehive, I could sell honey. And eventually, I had 26 hives of bees. It was a realization I never had to look for a job again. As long as I led a low-key existence, 